It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Rosie was collecting coal when she heard a horn. It was a rally car. Good day, mate. My name's Ace. What's yours? Oh, I'm Rosie. Well, I was looking for someone to race with me. You can count on me, replied Rosie. Ace just laughed. Oh, me? Racing the little pig squeak like you? Oh, that wouldn't be fair, Rose Rose. Rosie was offended. Well, if I have wings, I can definitely beat you. Ooh, that's so strong. Oh, you on then. The guard blew his whistle and Ace raced off. Rosie was too nervous to go fast, but the trucks didn't mind. Go on, Rosie. Show him who's boss. This made Rosie happy. Then she saw a level crossing. I'm going to pass him. I'm going to pass him. But then it was too late. <laughs> See you at the finish line, you pink caterpillar. Rosie was in shock. What on earth was he thinking? That was dangerous. I don't know, replied Rosie's driver. But we best head on to the docks. When she got to the docks, she found Ace waiting for her. Took you long enough to get here, Ace boasted. Oh, there was over there. Well, I could have hurt you and your driver with that stunt you just pulled back then. Rosie scolded. Oh, be quiet, you trungo. you got to be learn how to be free and easy like everyone else. Well, I'm off to a server. See you there, next worm. And Ace sped off. That evening, Rosie told the engines what had happened. That little race car can't hurt a great western engine like me, boasted Duck. You'll see. The next morning, Duck was sitting at Tidmouth Halt Station. Then Ace came to see him. So, I heard that you want to race a great western engine, hmm? Ace looked around. All right then. Where is he? Well, you're looking at him. Duck smiled. Then, Ace just laughed. Me? Racing with a lovely great western whale like you? Oh, oh, I bet you can't go 100 miles per hour, fat face. Duck was furious. Oh, that does it, he said. When my conductor blows a whistle, we race. And whoever gets to Bluff's Cove wins. You're on then, Bommy. Soon, the passengers got on board Duck's coaches. Duck glared at Ace. You ready? I'm always ready, you wobbly winter. The conductor blew his whistle, and Ace sped off. Soon, Duck and Ace were neck and neck, and Duck was trying not to break the speed limit. Ace growled. Hmm, that great western sausage thinks he could go faster than me. Oh, I'll show him. As Duck got to a crossing, it happened. Whoa! Duck gasped. <gasps> Ace was off the road and straight into a muddy pond. When Ace was rescued, Sir Topham Hat was very angry. Ace, you doing all these crazy stunts at the level crossing. It's very dangerous. You could have hurt my engines. 
and the engines could have hurt you and your driver. That will have caused confusion and delay. <sighs> Sorry, sir. As punishment, I will take away your engine and put you on the display at the racing museum. What? No! Please! Anything but that! I'm sorry, Ace. You leave me no choice. Soon, Ace was put on display at the racing museum. I hope this punishment will teach you a lesson, Thomas called. And it did. Ace sat sadly on a display of the racing museum for the rest of his life.